What's up faggots, Riot Sage here, and today I want to be talking about a new game that came out in early access, Rainbow Six Siege, oh, no not Rainbow Six Siege, sorry, it's because of the game I'm playing, da Dark and Light, I think, or Light and Dark. Now mostly this game came out like 15, ye 15 to 13 years ago, and the graphics eh, weren't that good, apparently since it was an old game. Um, but later on, it changed, and it is owned by a company called Snail Games, and when Snail, when, well, what, uh, I need to be more specific, Snail Games is a company that owns Wildcard, the same company that makes Ark, so Dark and Light is mostly a, let's say, Ark, World of Warcraft, and Skyrim had a threesome. That's what it literally is. A game that mixes mythical creatures that can be tameable and magic. So, depends on different abilities. You can be a guy who doesn't use any magic abilities, but there are certain needs there are certain needs to use magic when you're not using any. And mostly, I'm actually kind of excited for this game. Now, this game is only available on PC and only came out yesterday, July 20th. It will be coming out on Xbox and will be coming out on PS4, so don't worry. And there are also, Snail Games is also making the vir virtual reality set for Ark Park, whatever it's called, the new virtual reality set they were gonna do for PS4 like a long time ago, but that didn't happen, so it did Primal Survival and the release for Survival of the Fittest on Xbox PS4. Now, this might replace Ark later in the future, probably in expectations, but for now, for console players and other people, it's mostly actually the improvement for what these companies now if wildcard is owned by this company and has the ability to make this type of stuff um who knows some of these might be some of these creatures might have been replaced with um uh, the designs and the reflex might be similar to the creatures in arc and I would also like to tell you that we can tame dragons, we can tame anything. But there are certain dinos that can't be tameable, just like how in Ark is. We do have like dark sorcery and all that crap, and I cannot wait for that. Top four eliminated. And yeah, with that type of stuff released we we are expected to have dragons and like i said we there are some creatures that aren't tameable dragons are tameable so don't worry and i don't know the names of the creatures yet because not much people have talked about the creatures that have that are in the game and they might release out creatures later in the game and mostly i saw a little bit of how the game looks like so like in Ark, you want to invite your clan, and this thing, it's literally the same thing. I don't know, like, club or something like that, but in that different, it's very different. But, like, the resources look different, and it comes in a variety. Um, surprisingly, it, it really is interesting, and brings us a new chapter, and this might kind of, in theory, probably connect Ark and, um, uh, Rainbow. I mean, not Rainbow, God! Ark and Dark and Light, probably. They might be in the same universe because it mostly looks like this area might be in the center. And, or maybe some area that's mostly similar to the center. And, and this is a map in Ark, and there are different maps. And they're all, I think, would probably plead a better idea to the universe of Wildcard and Snail, Gla Snail Games. Who knows? They might th make their own universe due to magic and the paranormal stuff. And, like, I've, what I wanted for Kong, like, for Ark to add was, like, a Kong Skull Island map. And, like, they have these, like, trailers about on Kong Skull Island that makes you go, like, oh my god, man. This, game, this DLC looks worth it, like, oh my god. 
And then boss battle might be like, not skull crawlers, or might be like, skull crawlers might be like the wyverns and you can tame scare buffaloes, and like, death jackals, anything that lives in that area, because there are several species. And, and as again, I'm going off topic, but... Similarity, who knows, uh, we might have connected universe in this, like maybe Kong Skull Island might be connected to this because they say the world doesn't belong to us, it belongs to creatures that lived beef way before us, so that could have includes wyverns, elementals, and many other species. But for now, Dark and Light is a really interesting game, and I can't wait for it to come out on console for Xbox and PS4. So, yeah, can't wait for it. So anyway, hope you enjoy, guys enjoy, enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you want. And I'll see you all later. Peace. Just to tell you guys, follow Siege Gaming, really great YouTuber. Um, It would be really good idea if you guys do follow him. He'll do, he, he's like a person who does upload Rainbow Six Siege stuff, but doesn't talk much in it. So, if you guys want him to... Want, guys want to go watch his videos go go to follow siege gaming leave a um, subscribe leave notifications do that and if any of you guys new are new to my channel go notify subscribe whatever the hell and just leave a comment like and then yeah here's a bullsh here's some fuck some bad play of the day for me uh, or the week. So, see you later, guys, and I'll s and peace out. Bye.